Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My I'm name Scott Ramp. Noel- <laughs> My name is Noel McAvoy. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're halfway through this <laughs> sweltering hot week. Yep. I, I was hoping that uh, we would do like uh, like maybe like two or three words at a time. Oh, and that'd be just kind hop of hot. back and forth. Uh-huh. What? Just to know how, yeah. how much we are in sequence with each other. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not. Or how much we interrupt each other. We always interrupt each other. It's pretty bad. Well, but I mean, um, when we have these dominant personalities, it's like a little difficult. Mm. <laughs> you can call yours dominant if you want to. <laughs> Whatever. But, <laughs> but we have right, a great Scott. show for you guys today. We have a lot of guests. We do. Uh, we have some clips for uh, new programming mm-hmm. on tonight on MCAT. And of course, we have one of our favorite segments of all, Hallmark or Bullmark. Where <laughs> I, where I, oh. No, I'm just kidding. I love it. Yeah, it's a great segment. It's, it's awesome. Joy. Where I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I, and these guys, ha- and at home, um, you guys ha- uh, have to determine whether or not it's Hallmark or Bullmark. Yeah, which, I mean, it, Scott's which is, pretty it's like true or too. false. Like, I think you should work for them. Yeah, well, I think you should write movie scripts. And the only way I can come up with the idea is if I have, uh, if I have this voice in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of it if I don't have this voice in my head. Hallmark movies are so great. It's just like yeah. the movie... So many ridiculous things happen. Yeah. Speaking of ridiculous, uh, <laughs> every time I want to think of like a new idea for anything, whatever, I use my Josh mini voice, <laughs> which is, was that voice I was just doing. Josh, <laughs> <laughs> he's our former co-host. Yeah. He used to be here many moons ago. Many moons ago, yeah, he, he like, started two, yeah, our morning he show with us. Our morning show, and uh, he left about um, a year and a half ago. Oh yeah, year and a half ago, pretty much. Like, uh, he left ago? just before the uh, September. Um, fall season of Wake Up Missoula of uh, yesteryears. Yesteryears. <sighs> Alright, let's talk about weather. I'll show you the clip for what's new on MCAT and then we'll get our first guest on here in a moment. But first, okay. let's talk about the weather. It is currently 59 degrees outside. Um, you have a high of 89 looking into today. Of course, your lows are going to be 53. But of course, your lows are going to be in the 50s all week long. Your highs are going to be to the 80s all week long. But of course, you can expect some thunderstorms happening this week because it's just the perfect amount of weather just to have those kind of thunderstorms for a little while. And of course, uh, I don't know how they're doing with the uh, fire in Hamilton, but yeah. uh, last time I, on Monday I read the newspaper, like it tripled in size, but then again, I don't know where they're at right now, because most of these forest fires, you can't just stop. You can't just say, stop. Hey, hang on a minute. That's my house you're trying to burn. And they're like, oh, okay, it's cool. Yeah. Like, no. The, the, the fire's just like, I'm just going to let myself burn out. It's like, it's like a raver. You just got to let them burn out. <laughs> And just like a rainbow, and like just a hope, hope for as little damage as possible. <laughs> Let them burn out. Hope for as little damage as possible. <laughs> like the connection's terrible. It's like a oh, forest fire is like a raver. <laughs> You just gotta let it go out on its own. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty comparable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, if you want to find more information, you can go to the National Weather Service mm-hmm. But of course, if you want to find more information, more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com/slash Wake Up Missoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can see past videos and past interviews, along with some of our fun little uh, MCAT uh, summer shorts that we make with some of the kids in our summer camps. Um, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. I'll tweet you back at MCAT at Wake Up Missoula. <laughs> Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook and to find out more information. We are on MCAT.org. Yep. I've only uh, fluffed a couple lines here and there throughout the this part of the morning show. Monday was just like terrible. Monday, I don't know. Why. It was awful. Mondays are it was so hard like, for us. It was like I can't think of anything to say. No, and, and like, we're both just like branded and like, yeah, hello everyone. It's I think the it. issue was just like we're trying to overthink things. We're trying to pretend that we're not like completely and utterly tired. And yet, I had the best sleep the night before Monday. And but today, I didn't have like the sleep was like normal. I well, normal that's how sleep today. Like I have weekends off now, so like I just have so much fun on the weekends and then Monday morning I'm like oh why (laughs) but it's cool it's worth it (laughs) but of course uh, we have some new programming on tonight it Mm -hmm. is the uh, uh, I I just a little background on this first uh, first half of this clip it is uh, uh, what's his name? Um, ben <laughs> Kirby. Ben Kirby, and he does. Uh, he's like the Tubu Guru here in Missoula. Oh, Tuba and, Guru. And he, cool. did, um, they went to a uh, a tuba and euphonium symposium, symposium, <laughs> in some place offward, and they did a, a little kickoff concert in Break Espresso. And of course, uh, the uh, my favorite joke from Break Espresso is, is uh, while they're doing any kind of performances, yeah, somebody orders is like, I would like the uh, the loudest drink you have here. <laughs> 
Well, I just think that it's funny because sometimes at the Break Espresso during finals week, they'll have jazz bands perform and not tell anyone. And Break Espresso is like where people go to study. So everyone is just like, what? Yeah, and also that this is the best like place to write that script. You've been saying that you're writing for your movie. Or it's also a good place to wait for a really long time for someone to serve you with coffee. And speaking of uh, making people <laughs> wait, we're making our first guest wait. So without further ado, we're going to show you this clip. And when we come back, we'll have our very first gift for a uh, fir- very first guest. They're from Missoula Aging Services, yes. Jordan and Anne. Yep. where the poem is going, there's this sabotage instinct that pops up where I immediately just, I feel like that that um, disgruntled family member on the boating trip and this, who wants to rock the canoe, you know, go over to your, to, to Aunt Eloise's canoe and rock the boat a little bit or something. Like I, I when, when things start to seem formulaic and I can see where I'm going, I want to wreck that. So to sit down and write poems about horseshoeing is just, Typically, it doesn't really occur to me, but sometimes it does happen. Hello, everyone. We are back. We're here with Jordan and Anne, and they're from Missoula Aging Services, and they're talking about their fall prevention class. So, Jordan, we'd like to start out with you. I know, uh, can you tell us about Missoula Aging Services? Absolutely, yeah. So, um, at Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. And um, one important way that we do that is by helping um, older adults learn about fall prevention. And so we uh, work with a number of different community partners on that. So um, this time we're working with Ann Schellinger from uh, Christ the King Church. She's the parish nurse over there. Um, working to bring the, uh, that stepping on fall prevention class to folks. So what are some of the like, numbers of people, uh, of cases of um, el- elder- elderly people falling? That's a great question. So. Um, falls are a leading cause of injuries and even death for older adults, and so um, it's a huge issue. Um, for people 65 and older, about one in three um, fall each year, and um, so it's a huge issue. And then what happens too is that when, when an older adult experiences a fall, they lose their confidence to get out and recreate, see their friends, do those things that, that keep them happy and healthy. And then they can actually have a greater fall risk because they become less fit, less sure of themselves. And so the idea of this class is to to kind of disrupt that, break that cycle and get them feeling confident again to get out and do the things that give them quality of life. And so what will these classes cover? Well, so the classes have, they've got a number of different, um, different types of activities. Uh, like they have, um, a big part of it is just exercises. They can help your strength and balance. Um, and then another part is um, discussion. And do you, Anne, do you want to tell, tell everyone a little bit about the types of things we discuss in the class? Well, we have different, we have, we're gonna have eight different sessions this time. And we talk about um, medications and how they could um, tend to help, help them make a fall. Um, medications and your vision will have someone with that knows about vision how that can um, cause falls too and um, we talk about different hazards in the home or in the community yeah it's, it's crazy uh, because like I think everybody like falls uh, everybody yeah. falls I think there should be like a new book that says like everybody falls yeah. and like for like, young kids it's like everybody poops but now yeah. it's like for everybody falls yeah. Uh, but yeah. uh, but like because I remember like when you go upstairs it's like you you take a misstep because you don't think about it a lot of times you like either like you go up the stairs and you're just like okay there's one more step and then you just kind of like, yeah. go like that right. or the, the worst part is uh, when you're at the bottom of the stairs yeah. where you think that there's uh, no more steps and there's that one step and that's all it really takes yeah. absolutely yeah. yep and the and you're absolutely right. At every age, we fall once in a while, but as we get older, 
the consequences of that become more and more serious. You know, it's not like when we were a kid anymore and we just right. bounce back. Yeah, up. Yep. kids are so durable, but right. as you get older, right. you get less durable. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So I know that you have got some examples of some poor shoes. Right. So what are some weird things that people should not wear to prevent right. them from the fall? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, shoes are a big factor in, in preventing a fall or, or can be a huge hazard and lead to falling. So. I brought some shoes and I thought we could maybe look at them together and, and kind of brainstorm mm -hmm. just like we do in the class about what what might be some of the pros and cons of these different yeah. shoes. So, yeah, all right, so let's here's do a little demonstration over here. All right. <laughs> Are we going to do demonstration? Yeah. Put some all right. shoes on? I, I, uh, yeah. I'll put them on. Okay. <laughs> okay, Scott, here are your shoes. Oh, I love these shoes. How about, how about <laughs> these ones? I love these ones. <laughs> okay, Scott, and show us how, I all guess, right, so, I mean. Yeah, it's uh, just. Just here, yeah, they're slippers. What are, yeah, they're yeah. slippery. So these are slippers. Yeah. And then they, and then these things kind of just like are hard on top, so right. they knock you over. Okay. So I guess we'll so, stand back here. Okay. So the question is, what is wrong with this? <laughs> <laughs> they're obviously are very stylish. This. I feel like they're pretty top heavy though. You know, right you could like fall yep. forward. Yeah. Pretty oh yeah, easy. Easy. and it keeps on falling out of my yeah. feet. Yep, mm -hmm. they've got no real fastener on there or anything like that. Okay. Um, they they don't have much tread on the bottom. If you can show the bottom. Oh yeah. So they're just. Oh, oh yeah. Would just they let bounce. you slip right across the floor. <laughs> yeah, you just slide right across your little yep. linoleum floor. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Huh. If you combine those with a big droopy bathrobe that hangs down under your toes, yeah. um, boy, that can be a really big risk. <laughs> yeah. <of them. laughs> okay, Scott. Let's see how you do with these ones. Oh yes. Good, I'm glad you're making Scott do all these. So here oh. you go. <laughs> oh, put these on. These are really nice. <laughs> Maybe Noelle can try these, yeah. You guys gonna let's sell these? Let's see how these? you do. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's get a good look at these. These well, are kind of a... Oh my gosh. Well, first off, they're too big. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's one important. thing, ladies, is you gotta get shoes that fit well. Oh my god, look at these things. Okay, can you see that? Oh. You see, you see all this space right there, too? Right, that fit is important, right? Yep. And so those, those, those do not quite fit. No. And then they're hard to walk in. Yes. I'm not a lady that wears heels. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and what are what are some other problems with those, Anne? Do you think? Or well, the, of course, the heels on them. You know, yep. it just makes you so, yeah. so easy to fall, and yeah. boy, as you age. And there's no traction on them. Yeah, there's no traction on them. So you so just slide no across. Yeah, and they don't fit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And uh, so you know, not not super common. I feel like to see those around Missoula, but you do once in a while. Here, yep. here's some, especially this time of year, right? We uh -huh. see these everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those. Uh, oh. <laughs> all right. Thank and you. And of course, yeah. I'll just hold on to this. Because <laughs> of course. Uh, I, think, I don't know about to speak louder because the microphone's like so far away, but um, I guess I'm gonna go German and keep my socks on. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, yeah. obviously a lot of style points for that. <laughs> yeah. Not only is that not stylish, but it's just not safe. <laughs> so what, do we, what, do we, what do we think about those? Uh, um, ready to dive? Yeah. Your old flip flop right out of them. Mm. Yep. And there's no back to them, so there's yeah. no real protection. Yep. And your foot will slide right yeah. out. Yep, not much arch support either. Just a per oh, basically no. perfectly flat pair of shoes there. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. How about should we do one more? Okay, one How more. How about these ones? Oh gosh, yes, the worst shoes ever. We got some Crocs. Crocs. I am and definitely. These are like white. White Crocs with rhinestones. They're like the bride's Crocs. <laughs> These are bride Crocs. <laughs> um, what do we think about those? Well, you know, I'm a firm believer against Crocs. For aesthetic reasons. For aesthetic Visual. Reasons. Yeah, my, my <laughs> aunt wore really one for 10 really years. Huh? Oh, she wore them forever. Yeah, yeah, and they so they do have a little support, right? Yeah. More support than others. Yeah. But what's wrong with them? Well, what do we think? Well, we have the strap around the heel, but it doesn't always stay up. Oh, yeah. The yep. heel, and then so it can fall down and you can slip out of them. Yeah. Yep. I've heard too that the they do have some tread, but when they get wet, they can get pretty slick. Ah. They're not going to cling super well if they get wet. So mm -hmm. those are maybe better than 
maybe better than the slippers, but but not 100% <laughs> perfect shoe. Good. So um, so anyway, that just kind of gives you a sense of what, what the class is all about. We have a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, when you see the, the headlines, it's a lot of a lot of gloom and doom, but the class is oh. is really a lot of fun too. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and um, so we have this starting August fourth at Christ the King Church, and it goes Thursdays from one to three p.m. Awesome. Um, yeah, right. and it's it's twenty dollars to participate or thirty dollars for two. We don't want anyone to miss out because they are not able to afford it though. So cool. I really hope people will get signed up for this one. Okay, and uh, where can people sign up again? Just like the, the number, the um, um, yeah. online, where, the, where yeah. can people go? They can jump on our, our website to sign up, which is massteppingon.eventbrite.com, or they can sure give me a call at Missoula Aging Services. I'm at 728-7682, and we'll, we're glad to get people signed up that way too. So starting August 4th, everyone. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for having us, yeah. We'll be right back after this. No matter what you're planning, if you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you, each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. I'm Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. For the last 30 years, the Montana Hope Project has been granting wishes to Montana children who face life-threatening illnesses. I'm Montana Hope. To make a donation and help their wishes come true, please visit MontanaHope.org. We are Montana Hope! Hi you guys, we're hey. back. We're here with Matt Lautenheiser and he is from the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula telling us all about their summer events going on. So what's going on there? I'll tell you what, our annual 4th at the Fort event is coming up here uh, this coming weekend, actually on Monday. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's yeah. really exciting. And it's a good, it's good. Monday is a, like everyone always starts taking their vacation on a Friday. They're just like, oh, I'm leaving work early. It's like, I'm sick. Yeah. And then they leave on Friday. And then they come back on Monday. And this great event's happening at the Fort Missoula, like many other events at Fort Exactly. Missoula. Our hope is that a lot of folks tend to go out of town for the 4th of July around Missoula, go up to the lake, do something mm -hmm. like that. So when they get back on maybe Sunday night, they'll come out and visit us and celebrate our 40th annual event for this. Wow, and so what's gonna happen? It is a go? little bit everything. I like to describe it as kind of like a potpourri of, <laughs> of events at the museum. Uh, you know, it's not one of those things where you're gonna come out and you're gonna just do one activity. There's a, a variety of different activities from all different age groups, from kids to adults. Uh, this year is kind of a special feature. We're going to have the Northwest Antique Power and Tractor and Steam Engine Association coming out for their regional meeting. So we're gonna have about 20 to 30 actual steam tractors out at the fort. Uh, in addition to that, one of the neat things we do, uh, and you guys have, some of you have been out before, to see our sawmill run and see our, our uh, steam engine. Mm -hmm. The Historical Museum has a 1916 case steam tractor. Cool. And we're actually gonna have a 100th birthday party with cake and everything for our steam tractor this weekend. That's wow. so, so cool. It should be a lot of fun. You know, the, 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 every, th every time we go to the Fort Missoula, it, it's so, it's so, it's it can be like really, it's, it's fun. For sure, but it's always a learning experience. For sure, you always learn something new. And it's like I was just wandering around the fort one day, and I was looking at something for like maybe like five seconds or something. Mm -hmm. and some random person just told me about the whole history of that thing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's great. We have some really amazing volunteers from the community. And what you find is that when you run a museum like this that has so many different layers of history, you have people in the community that care about different aspects of it. Yeah. And so they'll volunteer, and they kind of almost adopt a building or 
Uh, we have a gentleman named Matt Palmer who is amazing, uh, who used to work uh, for the National Park Service and who has kind of adopted our Willamette locomotive. So he comes out on a regular basis and spends his free time in the locomotive talking to people and teaching them about the history of that. So that's it's a lot cool. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. those steam engines are super neat. Yeah, like, they really are. The little kid inside of me is like, oh my god. Yeah. The, the fun <laughs> thing about it is the our our steam engine and our sawmill that uh, uh, we get up and running. It actually is, believe it or not, the second largest steel or second largest sawmill in Missoula County when it's running. Oh, cool. Because it's the only other sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's a lot of fun. Convenient. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun. And again, that's something else that it's all run by our volunteers. So uh, what time does it start? Sure. We actually kick off with a pancake breakfast that the Church of the Latter-day Saints hosts for us every year on the 4th of July, and that starts at 8 a.m. Uh, and that runs from about 8 to 11. Our festivities at the fort kick off at about 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to have live remotes from Cherry Creek Radio. We're going to have live music. Uh, we have a really great gentleman from up in Kalispell by the name of Kevin Van Dort who comes down and he plays classic blues and jazz, and he actually plays a cigar box guitar if you've never heard it. It's mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Uh, and then we have an Americana group after with that called Bald and Burlap that'll play later on in the afternoon. So it's, I mean, it's food trucks, it's uh, live music, it's educational events. Uh, we've got bounce houses for the kids. We've got uh, Ollie the Osprey coming out this year, so it should be a lot of fun. Cool. That's awesome. Are, uh, are there, tell us about some of the uh, sponsors that are helping make this possible. Sure, we have some really great sponsors this year. Uh, Pierce Flooring is one of our big sponsors. Uh, gosh, we have a &E Architects, uh, Oz Architects, uh, a variety of different ones. So they they all help us to make everything possible with this event. Uh, of course, you know, as a smaller community organization, we can't do the things we do without our great sponsors. Back uh, when I was with you guys, uh, maybe a month or so ago, when I was doing the Give Local thing, you guys were working on a new uh, gallery installation at the museum. Yes. So is that done or? It is It is actually up and running. Uh, cool. We It's really neat. It's called Collecting Missoula, and it looks at kind of why museums collect, how they collect, uh, what is the process. I would say, if you remember, uh, a ways back there used to be a show called School of Rock and they had this, they did a song called How a Pill Becomes a Law. Well essentially this exhibit is how an artifact or how a donation becomes an artifact of the museum. So it follows it through that whole process about how we care for it, how we document it. Uh, but the other neat aspect of it is that this exhibit, because it's not based around kind of a central theme, it's not like in a Missoula logging history or something like that, it's just kind of a general about collecting in general. Um, we actually are able to pull out some of the really quirky, interesting things that are in our collection that don't really fit in a lot of bigger, okay. and then put those on display as part of the exhibit. Oh, that's fun, I like that. Fun. Yeah. So uh, one last time, um, where can, what's going on this weekend and sure. where people can find more sure. information? Sure, Monday, July 4th, it's our 40th annual 4th of the Ford event. It's gonna run from 8 a.m. with a pancake breakfast. Uh, music starts about 10 a.m. and it'll run till four o'clock in the afternoon and it's at the Historical Museum in Fort Missoula. Awesome, great. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, guys. And so we'll be right back after this, everyone. Your smartphone can help you find a bar, alert your friends that you're in the bar, update you on your team while you're at the bar, and now let you know you need a ride home from the bar. Hmm, that is smart. Download blood alcohol calculators for your phone at plantolive.mt.gov. A great day for me includes a walk outside with my wife. My great day includes reading a good book. A great day for me includes the morning crossword puzzle. My great day includes playing the piano. As you grow older, Missoula Aging Services can help direct your aging journey with a new Options for Better Aging program. Give them a call at 728-7682 to find out more. Hey guys, we're back. This is what's going on in your Missoula community today, Wednesday, June 29th, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So starting at 930 over at Mismo Gymnastics is their family fun time. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years. It's $7 if you're a member and it's $10 if you're not a member and that's per child. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got their open hours in the makerspace starting at 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. So all day long, you can work on a project of your choice or learn how to use one of their platforms. 
Uh, out to lunch is at Karis Park starting at 11. Off in the Woods is going to be playing. It is sponsored by Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Datsopolis, and McDonald and Lind. Mm. Over Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is blown in the wind, and the Brain Lab is, ouch, my brain. It's uh, $3.50 for anyone for and over. <clears throat> also over at Spectrum Discovery area, they've got their Science Sprouts. So this is for ages two to five specifically, and their theme for today is color. At the Children's Museum of Missoula, starting at 11, they've got Taekwondo. And then we hop forward to one o'clock in the afternoon, and over at Big Sky Branch Library at Big Sky High School, they've got movies in making. Um, and so that's at one o'clock, that's uh, once a week, and they learn how to make movies and talk about movies and watch movies. Pretty great. Uh, back over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got middle school writers starting at 3.30. This is a writing group for age, uh, or grades six through nine to get and, get, get and give good feedback and play with words and eat some chocolate. Keep out of trouble. Top Hat Lounge hosts uh, celebrating the music of fish, sharing in the groove, starting at four. They've got trivia, audio show, happy hour, everything you can want surrounding the jam band fish. <clears throat> Back at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a computer programming through Minecraft. It starts at five um, and it's ages eight to 13. Space is limited, so call 721-2665 to sign up. These next two events are for their mamas and little babies. It's called Kanga Trail, and it's hike, hiking fitness for moms and their babies. So at 5 o'clock, they're going to be meeting at the Blue Mountain Recreation Area. Um, and so they'll be meeting at Hayes Creek side of Blue Mountain, not the regular trail side. So drive on Highway 93 past Blue Mountain Road for about a mile until Hayes Creek Road, and then follow that road to the end where it comes to a tee and park by her white Nissan. <laughs> Um, and so it's only five dollars and then they're also going to be meeting another group is meeting at the rattlesnake also at five um, and so that one is going to let's see so you have to RSVP to this one so you can RSVP to uh, J A C O L E underscore Johnson at yahoo.com I um, mean that's only five dollars as well so if you're a mom and you got some kids you need to go hiking and make some friends this is this is a great one at Splash Montana tonight at 6 is adult night, so ages 18 and older um, from 6 to 9, you don't have to hang out with any little kids, you can swim around, that sounds fun. Over at Karis Park is a mid-summer mid night's dream, it uh, starts at 6.30 and so the United Way of Missoula County is celebrating 85 years of service in our community, so they have food, cocktails, unique entertainment, and live and silent auctions. Then over the center saloon is country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark. This starts at seven, it's five dollars per lesson. And then we've got our Missoula City Band Summer Concert Series at the Bonner Park Band Show. And they're going to be uh, playing tubas on parade. That sounds fun. And then my last events for uh, Wednesday this evening is there's karaoke at the Eagles Lodge, uh, karaoke at the Badlander, and karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon starting at 8.30 and 9 o'clock. So that's what I've got going on for you in your community. We're switching gears now. We're going to Musical Notes with ASAP Auto 9. You know, every time I get to do another Musical Notes, it's just such a joy in my life, such a delight. I just wanted to share that with you and Scott to start this off. I know. We love having you do it. Yeah, I'm it's just so, really humble. It's, it's super so fun. fun. That being said, <clears throat> now it's been said audiences at the Apollo Theater in New York are the most difficult audience to get through mm -hmm. in any talent competition or talent show. If you've seen their show, you see the history of that show. They can be pretty ruthless. And some of the musical acts that have gone through the Apollo Theater are people like Cab Calloway, Sarah Vaughn, Aaron Neville, Billy Holiday, Sammy Davis Jr., James Brown, and countless others that have appeared since 1914. Now, our guest on today's Musical Notes was booed six times at the Apollo Theater. Can you believe that? Six he times was, Yeah, six times. He was the same artist, the same singer, yet got booed. And I think it was because he was extremely heavy when he burst on this scene, and audiences couldn't get past that. He took the weight off and took the world by storm. Anyway, he, became, he went on to become perhaps the greatest African-American singer in history. We're talking about the one and only... Luther Ronzani Vandross Jr., known to the world as Luther Vandross, and there he is right there, and I don't know if you guys recognize him or not. He didn't live very long, but 
He accomplished probably more than any singer in history. And I'll just briefly fly through some of these accomplishments here. Luther Vandross was an American singer, songwriter, record producer. He was in high demand as a background backup vocalist for people like Judy Collins, Shaka Khan, Bette Midler, Diana Ross, David Boyd, Barbara Streisand, and Donna Summer, and tons of others I wouldn't have time to mention. Also, um, he's had numerous hits like um, songs like Never Too Much, Here and Now, any love, and your audience can look up the rest because I wouldn't be able to read them all anyway. He has sold 35 million records worldwide, received eight Grammy Awards, including Best Male R&B Vocalist four different times, and he got four Grammy Awards, including Song of the Year. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. That's just quite an accomplishment there. I mean, um, he has done jingles from 1977 to 1980 for companies like Mountain Dew, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Burger King, and Juicy Fruit Gum. So, you know, he's just so diverse. He has, um, his earlier albums have made such an impact. He, uh, two of his singles reached number one in the Billboard R&B charts with a song called Stop the Love in 1986. He did a duet with tap dancer Gregory Hines. So that's that's just you know a stretch right there too. He's also he's also um, responsible for Aretha Franklin's album, the song um, "Jump to It." When she made her comeback, Luther Vandross put that together, and that song went on to become a gold-certified, award-winning comeback album for Aretha Franklin, thanks to this man right here. Also, um, oh my goodness, let me just look through these notes. He wrote a song called Dance With My Father, which was dedicated to his father in 2003, and it sold 442,000 in just the first week. Can you believe wow. that? And that's just a song for his father. Mm -hmm. he's, been, he's, he's been used by the NAACP Men's Basketball Championship for singing One Shining Moment, and he became like a spokesperson, or a spoke singer for that, I should say, in this case. I mean, people like Mariah Carey think very highly of him. In 1997, he won his third best vocal for the Frank Sinatra Lady is a Tramp, his version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, that's just pretty amazing right there. And finally, um, in 2008, he was ranked number 54 on Rolling Stone Magazine's 100 Greatest Singers of All Time. And of course, this is just a flyover. I mean, this man has probably been nominated like 20 times for R&B Vocal Awards, winning a whole lot of them. And he was inducted in 2014 after his passing on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So that's just kind of a very brief flyover of this cool. man's career. Probably the best African-American singer in history. Really neat. Yeah. Nice. So I'll stop right nice. there. Thank you very he much, sang, He sang that This Magic Moment. I think he did. Okay. Because all these songs Because that's the one song I definitely would know for by him, but I'm pretty sure he's done a well, lot of Well, I things. mean, you know, if you look at this, it's like 10 pages here. It's yeah. impossible to do everything. So I just had to pick out a few things. But your audience can look up Luther yeah. Vandross and read this man's incredible career. He's just a, just a great artist. Nice, cool. Just, just the best of the best. I know, I definitely want, I'm gonna look about. up. Thanks, yeah, Asa. Yeah, and so we've got an art clip for you guys, a brand new one. Brand new. This lasts all summer long. It doesn't go away until October. Yep. It's at the Missoula Art Museum and it is called? Until October 1st. It's called? It's um, Field Notes? Karen McAllister Shimoto Field Notes. That's the, that's the title, it's called Field Notes. She has three names. All right, here it is. Thank you. 
starting at 10 a.m. over at uh, NAMI Missoula, or no, over at the Providence Center is the NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting. It's for adults uh, affected by mental illness or interested in learning more about NAMI. It starts at 10. At 10.30, it's the Missoula Public Library's Tiny Tales. This is for babies ages birth to three years to sing songs, learn finger plays, hear nursery rhymes, and stories. Uh, and then over the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula, which we should have asked Matt about this, they have kids' activities at the Ford um, from, from every Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to noon and 3 to 4 all summer long. So each week there'll be a different theme and, a and activity that kids of all ages can enjoy. Uh, over at Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is Little Bits. The Brain Lab is Candy DNA. They open at 11. Well, hi, you little bits. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, little bits. Uh, at the Children's Museum of Missoula is face painting at 11. And then at 11.30 is kids' table at the Missoula Public Library, so children 18 and under can have free food, and then they can hear stories and do some crafts and stuff. Uh, the feeding begins at 11.30. <laughs> it literally says that, you guys. It says feeding begins at 11.30. Yeah, it's I like will, pork, it's, pork slop. They put the pork slop in the barrel and yeah, they just say, have at it. Yeah, and the kids just attack. It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I love it. I will never get over it. And Good kids job. are the pickiest eaters, too. Yeah. They're the worst. They are the worst. Yeah. But feeding, they're feeding them. Yeah. Good job, Missoula uh, Public like Library. Like a whole that tub of chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> that's all kids eat, just chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. And ketchup. Like, when you're that age, that's all kids eat. That's yeah. all they want to eat. They don't care about anything else. It's like, cordon bleu. We're like, bleh. I like chicken nuggets. I'm from the generation when, when my mom cooked. If you didn't cook what she made, you went to bed hungry. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. exactly what I will instill on my children. Yeah, yes. I cooked this food for you. Don't eat it, right? You better. And then she wouldn't let you get a peanut butter sandwich like with our midnight at one o'clock when your tummy's growling. Really, she I wouldn't even. No midnight snacks. No. Nope. nope. You hear that, everyone? Mm -hmm. No feeding time. Terrible. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> Over at NAMI Missoula, there's a connection support group at 1.30. Free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. And then at the Public Library, they've got family movies starting at 2 p.m. You can call 721-2665 to find out the uh, name of the movie. And then over at the Missoula Butterfly, ha Butterfly House, they have poisonous butterfly exploration. So different species of butterflies use different, different defense strategies to survive. Uh, so from 3 to 5, they'll explore how some butterflies can use this and huh. what they use. I yeah. know butterflies can be poisonous. Isn't that neat? Because you know yeah. frogs can be poisonous mm -hmm. and they can go cause like hallucinations and stuff. So I didn't know butterflies can cause yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, to avoid being eaten by predators. I know, we'll have to go. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like, let's hallucinate on butterflies. <laughs> What's crazy. this called? It's called butterfly? <laughs> it's butterfly. It's all new. It's the newest thing. The newest thing on the black market. <laughs> Butterfly. We're terrible. We're awful. Yeah. That's okay. That's why our show is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just some more. Just a few more events, you guys. Lego Club is at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30. Also at 3.30 across the street is uh, Spider Feeding at the Missoula Insectarium. They're feeding children and spiders today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay indoors, everyone. <laughs> um, okay, so this next thing is cool. So this weekend is a Montana Tech Tour. It starts at 4.30. It's going to be at that brand new building that they built at the University of Montana on that gorgeous lawn as a Gilkey business building. So um, it's gonna feature Paul Sai, who's an entrepreneur and investor, who is, and also a tech guy. So you drive across North America to visit the places that startups actually start and grow their businesses. And Missoula is a really, really, really big um, hub for entrepreneurs, and there are a lot of entrepreneurs here, a lot of businesses that have started here. Um, yeah, so tickets are free, but uh, space is limited. So please register early, go to N, Vite.com slash community slash RJ Tech Tour. 
We probably should have wrote it down and put it on the screen, like, probably. right here. Yeah, most likely. That would have been good, but if I had thought ahead, that would have happened. Eh, you, we, they can look it up. It's cool. I'm not worried about they it. They don't need it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then over at Karis Park is downtown tonight. Starts at 5.30, and the full-grown band will be playing. They used to be full-grown men, but they must have added a lady, because now they're full-grown band. Yeah, it's a full-grown people. Full-grown people. Full-grown band. Yeah, but they must, yeah, so it used to be full grown men. Yep. But either way, it's sponsored by BioLife CTA Group and Northwestern Energy, and they'll have children's activities and food vendors. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, so this next event I think is super cool. You guys, I highly suggest, but I'm not telling you to go to it. Okay, so starting at 6 p.m. at the Mansfield Library tomorrow is Sky Watchers and it's the GOC in Missoula. So, for most of the 1950s, the U.S. Air Force relied on civilian volunteers to, guide the, to guard the country from a Soviet sneak attack. So, the Ground Observer Corps enlisted thousands of Montanans who volunteered their time scanning the skies for enemy aircraft. So, it would be from, like, towers, balconies, front porches, and telephone booths in, in every kind of weather. But by the late 1958, um, improvement in radar technology rendered the Ground Observer Corps obsolete, and then they f quickly faded into the background of history. But uh, that's so neat. And so they're going to be talking about the origin of the Corps, their place in Montana history, and their significance to the Cold War. Mansfield Library at 6. I just think that's so cool. So if anyone gets a chance, that's going to be pretty neat. Uh, over at the Roxy Theater at 7, is, uh, they're going to be showing Chinatown, but they're also going to be having the Los Angeles Times critic Kenneth Turin also there. And so um, they're going to screen the movie, and then this guy, is, I would guess, is going to be talking about the movie and film reviewing and talking to other movie buffs. So that's pretty cool, because he's a critic for the LA Times and, then, and National Public Radio's Morning Edition, um, as well as the director of the Los Angeles Times Book Prizes. So he's, been a, he's a journalist, he's got a master's degree in journalism and knows what he's doing, so that's going to be pretty sweet. Um, and then I've got some music for you guys. Wild Coyote will be at the Sunrise Saloon at 8. Uh, open Mic at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Open Mic at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hipster at the, Bra at Dead Hipster at the Badlander at 9. Karaoke the Dark Horse at 9. And Joan Zen at the Top Hat Lounge at 9.30. So as always, you guys, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net the University of Montana website, uh, the Missoulian and the Independent for more uh, community events going on. I usually get all of my events from MissoulaEvents.net. So if there's something I talked about or like all the websites that I've been saying, you guys can go online. Check it out uh, for sure if you really want to go. But of course, um, I do need, I do want to mention a couple things before we go yeah. into our favorite section. But um, uh, some city council stuff that was going okay. on. Uh, the budget for MCAT's feature was passed, so we're yes. good on that. I mean, it was totally like Thank a blip. You, it was just a consent agenda item, and they pretty much passed everything that's on consent agenda. Just so they can get to the uh, public hearing, which was on uh, the denial of the, the uh, demolition um, plan of the thing, of this, mm -hmm. whatever. But it has everything to do with the mercantile. And of course, this isn't, they didn't decide on anything yet because they're, they, set two public hearings for the public to say mm -hmm. what they need to say and the next one is on July 11th cool. because there is no meeting next Monday because it's July 4th but that's just an update mm -hmm. on seeing what, what the future of the mercantile is all about but without further ado uh, the, the, that's basically my city council report uh, there wasn't really much to do it, like uh, they were expecting the meet like my boss Joel our boss our boss was expecting uh, he's my boss not yours <laughs> he's my boss too <laughs> oh, anyways um, he was expecting the meeting to be like five yeah. hours long but it was very cordial and the people who showed up there were good and they good. did a thing and um, they have a table mic now they don't have that like little stick oh. mic that sticks out but then there was just like one guy doing a public comment and he ha like literally like bent over and was speaking into the um, mic right there <laughs> I bet that was really funny it was hilarious yeah. to watch. It was just like what, what are you doing what are you, what are you doing dude? that's funny but he just like I think he was talking about like city corruption or something like that. Some, something crazy like that. And of course, the mayor, John Engen, he actually took himself out of the meeting. Like, oh, wow. Like, because he, 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 he's already clear on what he wants. Yeah. So he says he doesn't want to be swayed or he doesn't want to sway anyone's uh, opinion. opinion or so something like that. Even though, like, the uh, like 98, 98% consensus is behind um, saving the Merc. Really? It's pretty much, like, most of everybody in the like, public comment was talking all about it. Interesting. Cool. But again, you know, the people who are at public comment don't necessarily represent the city of Missoula, mm -hmm. you know, being there. I mean, sure, they, they live in Missoula, but there's always like a um, 
there's always a sect of people who are just like, I don't bother. It's like, oh, I don't care if we dem demolish the mercantile. Mm -hmm. If they don't care about like saving the merc, then they won't be there. They don't it's get true. the comments. So yeah. just think about that. Um, so the next meeting is slated for July 11th. You can do public comment or, during the public hearing about the mercantile. Cool. All right, great. But of course, it's time for Hallmark or Bill Mark. Hooray! <laughs> Are you guys ready to play? Okay, so the game works is I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? And you guys have to determine whether it's a uh, Hallmark or Bullmark. And, um, oh yeah, before I move on, uh, it's like, you know, those high heels really made your calves pop. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I know, like, my legs are great. I was like, wow. I know, I was like, what? Mm. Mm. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> I, I, it's definitely worth a across the bar look. <laughs> wow. And a calves. nod. Nice calves. Yeah. <laughs> That's my nice, nice calves look. <laughs> Thank you very much, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay. Oh okay, here it is. Okay. These are short, so uh, cool. bear with me. Okay, hit it, ASAP. After Chris is laid off on Christmas because the company had to downsize. Chris hopes that the holiday season would cheer him up. Unfortunately, months pass and his Christmas miracle is far behind him. Or is it? This summer, enjoy the holiday season a little later as Christmas cheer can happen all year. <laughs> and the movie's called Late Christmas. Is this uh, Hallmark or Billnark? Uh, this is so... <laughs> what? <laughs> So, so you know Christmas in July. Yeah, this is you know? so obscure. I'm but gonna it's say July. it's Hallmark. I'm gonna yeah, say it's Hallmark because it's so obscure. Well, guys, are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it is Bullmark. It's completely <laughs> fake. I completely made it up. So you guys are wrong. Yeah, we got I it. knew it. I should have said it. I was like, this is so <laughs> obscure and thrown together. Like I'm not even sure what this is. Well, both of them are be, totally thrown together. Could be either one. It could be either one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I am a big fan of Christmas in July, and there's so many Christmas movies out there for sure. <laughs> it cannot not be real, but it's it's completely bullmark because I made it up. Good job, Scott. That's terrible. Good job to me. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. Moving on to the next one. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> All right. I'm ridiculous. Okay. It's so much fun. <laughs> Every time I look at myself in the um, the monitor behind the camera that I'm looking at right there, and then there's a monitor right here. All right. Weird. Uh, that's, I don't know why that's funny to me. It's not. All right. <laughs> Following a newlywed couple celebrating their first Christmas together, they invite their families to join them for the holidays. But when Steve is laid off just before Christmas. Oh, no. Uh-oh. And Cynthia discovers she's pregnant. Uh -oh. They both keep their news secret in hopes that the celebration runs smoothly. And the movie's called A Perfect Christmas. <laughs> Bullmark. Is this a Hallmark or Bullmark? I'm gonna say Bullmark. You're gonna say Bullmark? Yep. I'm gonna say Hallmark. You say Hallmark? Really? Because yeah. you're always downing me. Yeah, I'm gonna say okay. Hallmark. Okay, Bullmark. Time. It's Hallmark. What? Yeah, it's a Hallmark original movie. Well, like I actually like they were switched. Lucky guess. They were switched at at one point, and then I was just like, I usually do like I, I haven't been I've been very consistent in terms of doing like um, Hallmark first and then Bullmark second. Oh. But this time I just switched them around. I don't pay attention. And it worked. I, I fooled should. Noel, and of course, so I got a seventy-five percent. So that's the C. <laughs> that's a C. You got a yeah. C. Cool. I got an F, but that's cool. I already graduated. No. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, uh, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move this from my thanks, face. Thanks, guys. Okay, but I do have an announcement to make. I'm going um, on vacation. I'm going to Vermont. I was born in Vermont. I'm going there for the first time in 10 years. And I leave Thursday. So I will not be here Friday, Monday, or Wednesday. So be here back a week from Friday. Right. But Scott will still be here, and ASAP too. They'll so yep. be holding down the fort for us and giving you all the community news that you want about Missoula. Yep, yeah. it, it'll be great. Um, um, we'll still be here for July 4th. I don't know, we're, we're just gonna keep doing the show. Yeah, the only t We're gonna it. take off the last week in July. Mm -hmm. um, all the summer camps are completely and utterly full. Yes. I'm happy yeah. about that, it's great news. Um, we have, uh, we actually accidentally had an excess amount of kids because um, somebody, Put the wrong sheets in the wrong folder because I mean we have two animation camps, so yeah. it was kind of switched around. It's like I'm signing up for the second animation camp, and then, but I'm going to put it in the 
Yeah. First, second anime, first, first, second MCAT camp. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, exactly. That's how confusing it was for everybody else. So um, it turns out we're gonna have like thirteen in either camp, but That's we're gonna okay. have more than enough adult volunteers and uh, computers. We, and we have the uh, tele uh, tele AmeriCorps volunteers, mm -hmm. and then of course we have a very strong Vista AmeriCorps. It's it's, it's, it's interesting because um, two of them, Reese and Crystal, are like kind of like a week kind of mm -hmm. side of it, where they're that as heavily monitored, because mm -hmm. their thing is more like a part-time deal, yeah. while Dylan is actually supposed to be here for 300 hours, oh, wow. and it has to be like, he has to record all, all his projects he's done, yeah. and all the things he's done, and for, so far from what I've seen, he's only showed up for three days. Oh yeah, it's true, it's true. So he, he has, has to do that before August. Good luck, Dylan. Good luck with that. <laughs> I come in early. Yeah, because he's not going to be able to do that because uh, for our um, week no. of our... Um, What's that called? Uh, the fair? The yeah. fair? Because um, we're trying to get some um, things going on with the fair, maybe again, because we haven't really done the fair since we did it. We kind of like uh, um, tap, topped out at, at a whole building we had to ourselves That's one cool. year. It was awesome. It was like maybe when I was like 19, 20. That was, but that was like, that was a long time ago. Many moons ago. Many, Many moons. moons ago. Many winters ago. <laughs> it, was, it was one of the hardest weeks of the year. <sighs> And people would come in, ride the space taxi, and um, yeah. Uh, Have a great old time. Just a great old time on the space taxi. Uh, and some of our kids that were like little, 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 before they were uh, old enough to be in our summer camps, rode the space taxi Cute. all the time. And then there's like, I remember the space taxi. But and every the time body? I see that. Yeah. What? They always talk about like the body, how space taxi, we only have the front and we only have the back. We threw away the sides because it was so massive. So yeah. the kids are like, the space taxi. <laughs> kind of like that. It's, it's like 36, 24, 36. Space taxi. But, yeah. <laughs> but the 24 is completely gone, so it's like 30, 36, nothing, 36. <laughs> yeah, it's space taxi. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, uh, like unattainable goal. For, like, <laughs> unattainable goal. <laughs> so bad. That we accomplished. Don't listen to us for uh, body images. Don't listen to us for more than like 30 minutes because uh, an hour. we're, we're, we're trailing an hour. off. And it's we are like, trailing. We just got to end the show. So let's do some social it's networking. True. You can find... Fine. You can find more information by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write it out twice. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter at wakeupmissoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook. And to find out more information, check us out at MCAT.org. And of course, I want to do a thank you to our guests, um, Matt uh, Lotzenheiser from mm -hmm. the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula. I said it right. Yes. Um, we have Jordan Lyons. Uh, and um, we had Ann um, Schellinger. Sh Schellinger. Yeah. And uh, they're from the Missoula Agent Service. It, uh, it's a monthly, uh, last uh, Wednesday of the month. Uh, every they talk about something going on, and um, this this time around was about fall prevention and what you can do to uh, help prevent falling. Yeah. Yep. And what shoes to not wear? Do mm -hmm. not wear those shoes. We saw. That's like a fashion uh, slash. Uh, so we had a fashion segment. We had a fashion segment. Fashion um, prevention segment. Fashion prevention <laughs> segment. <laughs> it was great. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> and if you are uh, an organization here in town or you're putting on a rally cause here in Missoula, you can call us at 542 6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT. But if you're too scared to call, you could email us MCAT at MCAT.org. We're also on, you know, as we said, we're also on Facebook and Twitter yeah. and have our own website. We're all over the place. We're all over the place. Place. Get us. Like a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, for, thank you very much for joining us. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McBoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. Cheers, ASAP, Night, and I'll see you guys next week, but you'll see these guys Friday. <laughs>